malabsorption is a state when the absorption of food nutrients across the gastrointestinal is not enough for normal body function. The average human consumes 100 gram fat, 100 gram protein, and 400 gram of carbohydrates daily. Plus 2 liter fluid, vitamins, and minerals. The body adds its fluids to this content including gastric acid, saliva, pancreatic and hepatic secretions, and eventually, almost whole of the content is absorbed in the blood by small and large intestines. Only a small part of this huge content is excreted by defecation, and it is called stool average 200 gram from the content. It means the human body needs and consumes all foods and vitamins that he or she consumes daily. When a human intakes less food or specific nutrient than she needs it is malabsorption. The common symptoms of a company's malabsorption are diarrhea, weight loss, flatulence, abdominal bloating, abdominal cramps, and pain. But sometimes may be asymptomatic. If feces is more watery, or high fat content, to diarrhea, then it is also a risk to develop malabsorption. More than 200 grams stool a day for a prolonged period causes malabsorption, because the body loses not only fats but also other nutrients, mucus, vitamins, and minerals. Some patients compensate for fecal wastage of unabsorbed nutrients by significantly increasing their oral intake, eating, Excessive flatus and abdominal bloating may reflect excessive gas production due to fermentation of unabsorbed carbohydrate, it may be associated lactose intolerance or sucrose intolerance. Malabsorption is associated with celiac disease deficiency of vitamin B12, iron and folate. Hypoprothrombinemia secondary to vitamin K malabsorption. Impaired calcium and vitamin D absorption and collation of calcium by unabsorbed fatty acids resulting in fecal loss of calcium. Prolonged malnutrition may induce amenorrhea, infertility, and impotence. Edema and even ascites may reflect hypoproteinemia. Most common clinical presentation of malabsorption is diarrhea and steatorrhea. Watery, diurnal and nocturnal bulky, frequent stools. Bloating, flatulence and abdominal discomfort is also common. Cramping pain usually suggests obstructive intestinal segment for example in Crohn's disease. Weight loss despite increased oral intake of nutrients growth retardation, failure to thrive, delayed puberty in children, anemias, edema, swelling of the skin and abdomen, muscle cramp from decreased vitamin D, calcium absorption, also lead to osteomalacia and osteoporosis, bleeding because deficiency of calcium, causes, HIV-related malabsorption, intestinal tuberculosis, parasites, diphilobothrium, giardiasis, hookworm, roundworm, Traveler's diarrhea, intestinal structural problems, celiac disease, cow's milk intolerance, fructose malabsorption, soya milk intolerance, lactose intolerance, sucrose intolerance, gastrointestinal organ insufficiency, and cancers. Fiber deficiency, hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism, diabetes mellitus, hyperparathyroidism and hypoparathyroidism, malnutrition diagnosis, anemia, high C reactive protein or low albumin. Microcytic anemia indicates iron deficiency and macrocytic anemia B12 and folate deficiency. Low cholesterol or triglyceride, because of decreased fat absorption. Low calcium and phosphate caused by vitamin D deficiency. Zinc and vitamins A, D, E and K may be low. Treatment is directed by underlying cause, replacement of nutrients, electrolytes and fluid may be necessary. In several cases hospitalization is needed.